warrior archetype influences the psyche of every man. It is the source of important qualities like bravery and determination. But there is a shadow side to this archetype. The dark side of the warrior can lead to cruelty and a weak sense of self. It's important to be aware of your warrior energy because if you're accessing its shadow form, you can end up in trouble for being violent or it may prevent you from being able to stay in relationships. Watch on to discover if you're accessing your warrior energy in a healthy, balanced way. The warrior archetype, as depicted in Robert Moore's work on masculine archetypes, is symbolized by this triangle-shaped diagram. At the top of the triangle, we have the balanced traits of the warrior archetype, including courage, discipline, protection, assertiveness, and commitment. Moving to the bottom corners of the triangle, we encounter the two dysfunctional and immature sides of the archetype. The inflated shadow aspects encompass domineering behavior, cruelty, and unchecked aggression, while the deflated shadow aspects include passivity, lack of motivation, and a lack of assertiveness, as well as a lack of a firm and clear sense of self. The amount of time you spend being active may have a link with your level of warrior energy. Consider these questions and see if you regularly engage with the warrior's active side. Are you a physically active person? For example, do you have a job which demands a lot of physical activity? Or do you spend your leisure time playing sports or engaging in physically active pursuits? Assertiveness is usually a sign of a strong warrior. Think for a moment about your ability to assert yourself. How assertive are you? Do you find it easy to assert your point of view, needs, wishes and desires? And can you do this regardless of the company you are in? Can you clearly ask for what you want without being discouraged if you do not get it? Do you sometimes feel deflated because you haven't been able to state your wants, needs or desires? Or because you allow yourself to be influenced by others and end up doing what they want rather than something you would have preferred to do? If you have difficulty being assertive, can you trace the origin of this behavior back to anything which happened in your childhood? For example, were you shut down when you tried to speak up in your family environment or at school? Or did you perhaps make a decision to be quiet at some point to save yourself from some negative reaction or response from the people around you? Boundary setting is a key element of the warrior's job. Often this takes the form of saying no when we are faced with something we do not want or something which is not acceptable to us? Does it come naturally to state your no clearly and easily when you are confronted with something that is not acceptable or desirable to you? Do you find it easy to say no to yourself when you are drawn to behave in an unboundaried way? For example, excessive eating or drinking, social media use or any other addiction. And how easy do you find it to say no to others when they offer an invitation or suggestion which you do not wish to be a part of? Are you able to express yourself clearly and with conviction, even when faced with opposing views? Do you ever give way in the face of a forceful argument and keep silent about your own point of view? Or even give the impression you agree with something you secretly know is not true for you? The warrior's energy may be required to end something that has run its course, for example, a relationship that you know you want to end, or a job which you know you need to leave. These questions are designed to help you consider whether you have a strong warrior who can metaphorically cut through the ties that bind you in such situations, and so end them. Have you ever allowed yourself to continue in a relationship, whether professional or personal, which you knew was no good for you, or even doing you harm? What prevented you from taking the action needed to enable you to leave that situation? A balanced, mature warrior energy can allow you to respond with immediate action in a crisis. This is a part of what we often call being good in a crisis. 
When faced with a crisis, how do you respond? With effective, clear action, or with chaos, confusion, or paralysis? Overall, what is your sense of your warrior archetype? Would you describe it as strong, mature and balanced, under your control and effective in taking action when needed? If not, continue watching on and see if you can recognize some of the characteristics of the inflated or deflated warrior as described. Remember that most people who have suppressed their warrior will flip between these two states although it is possible for one of them to predominate, sometimes for long periods of time. And of course, these states are not all or nothing. Each of them can appear in varying degrees at different times in our lives. Out of control behavior is a key sign of an inflated warrior whose energy is held in shadow. Occasionally, or frequently, the energy suppressed internally may be too great to hold, at which point you may explode. Do you ever explode with anger or rage and then feel shocked and shaken by the strength of your reaction? Do you ever big yourself up with branded clothes, expensive purchases, strident behavior, loudness or anything else which an onlooker might think was designed to make an impact on people? Are you sometimes shocked by the force of your reaction towards someone who is irritating you? For example, have you ever felt an urge to hit someone in your anger, or indeed done so? Do you have to feel angry before you can effectively make your point clear, rather than being able to get your point of view across in a clear, calm and authoritative way? Do you only feel strong when you are angry? Have you ever wondered where an angry outburst came from and thought, that just wasn't like me? Has anyone ever suggested that they do not feel safe around you? If you answered yes to many of these questions, it's a sign your warrior energy is over-functioning. Okay, now let's explore the deflated state of the warrior. When warrior energy is suppressed and held internally, it may be turned against the self which can result in periods of sadness, depression, or hopelessness. There are some clues to this situation, however. Do you frequently feel hopeless, pointless, sad, or depressed? Have you ever been in a rage and broken or smashed objects, as opposed to people? Do you believe that you cannot get what you want, or that you have no capacity to influence the world and what goes on in it, either locally or globally? Do you struggle to motivate yourself in the morning or frequently struggle to get going after you wake up? When people suggest you join them in fun activities or adventures, do you feel excited? Do you feel you just can't be bothered? Or do you remain passive and unmoved? If you answered yes to many of these questions, it's a sign your warrior energy is under-functioning. To help you face the aspects of your warrior archetype, you're having trouble with, you can do a process called shadow work. This shadow work could include overcoming your tendencies toward destructive aggression, unchecked anger, or a lack of empathy. Finding ways to step out of your passivity, overcome your lack of motivation, and become fully present and alive. Integrating the shadow may involve addressing unresolved anger, and learning healthy assertiveness. If you'd like to explore more of your inner warrior, we've created a free warrior energy assessment resource designed to help you access the fullness of the warrior energy within you. With this resource, you'll discover the areas to focus on for developing the balanced traits of the warrior archetype. Areas like aggression, boundary formation, and focus and discipline. Just click on the link in the description below for your free download.